we close our year of weekly videos on mission verses from the Bible with a passage from the Revelation. This is the 52nd and last video in the series. And to those of you who have tracked with me over the past year, thanks for your participation. In his revelation to John, Jesus has messages for seven churches in seven cities of what was then called Asia Minor, now part of Turkey. He warns them against things like following false teaching, forgetting to prioritize God, and being complacent about their faith. Do you remember that one? He says, I want you to be either hot or cold, not lukewarm. Get off the fence or I will spit you out of my mouth. Oh yeah, sometimes we ignore the harsh sayings of Jesus. He is loving, yes, and he can also be brutally honest. Here's what he said to the church of ancient Philadelphia. I know all the things you do, and I have opened a door for you that no one can close. You have but little strength, yet you have obeyed my word. You did not deny me. This passage evokes two prayers from me as we close this year of mission focus. First, may we of Lake Grove Church, and all believers of course, may we always have our eyes and hearts on the lookout for the doors that the Lord opens for us. Opportunities for mission and ministry that may not always seem obvious or practical. He opens doors for us that no one can close, but we must have the insight and the willingness to walk through them. Secondly, may we at Lake Grove and all believers always recognize that though we are weak on our own, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. This, the passage says, you have but little strength and yet you have obeyed my word and you did not deny me. Apart from Christ, we can do nothing but with him, no matter how weak or inept we may be, all things are possible. He told his disciples, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want and it'll be granted. Let's watch for the open doors that God will have for us in the coming calendar year. Whatever they may be, may we have the courage to walk through them as we proactively abide in the Lord and abide in his word. Hallelujah.